Yeah, warm and windy weather today. It is a dangerous combination leading to critical fire danger out there. A live look outside shows the windy conditions. You can see the flag blowing. Tens of thousands of PG&E customers could be just hours away from losing power. And we're under that red flag warning through Friday. Yeah, let's get over to meteorologist Julie Watts with the latest. Yeah, guys, that red flag warning in effect until Friday at 11 a.m. We're looking at those northeast winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. Now, very low humidity, between 7 and 20 percent. So dry conditions, and it is that warm, dry, northeasterly flow that we're dealing with. Wind speeds right now, now these are sustained winds, ranging from 15 to 23 miles per hour in the valley at this hour. But the gusts are certainly higher. In fact, over the last hour, we've seen wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour in Marysville, 21 in Fairfield, 22 in Modesto. Watch as FutureCast, though, advances on over the next couple of hours. We get into the overnight hours tonight, and that's when they really pick up. We're looking at wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour uh, from Fairfield into Sacramento. We're at 27 mile per hour wind gusts there. And then we advance on into the day Thursday. Notice how these winds died down a little bit before, well, ramping back up as we head on in overnight Thursday into Friday. And again, Friday morning, uh, late morning is when we will start to see this red flag warning expire, and those winds will begin to gradually die down a little. The good news here, though, air quality uh, not looking too bad. We are in the, um, well, unhealthy for sensitive groups range in a few locations, but for overall, we are looking mostly good. Though that's not to say there's not smoke out there. In fact, certainly on the west side of the valley, we are looking at some hazy conditions at this hour. Temperature wise, we are warming things up. We're up a couple degrees pretty much throughout the valley, up four degrees in Stockton, in Modesto. Right now, we are in the low to mid 90s. Uh, normal for this time of year would be in the upper 70s, so well above average, Curtis. We'll have your full forecast coming up, and I'll let you know when all this is going to change. Julie, thanks. The latest power shutoff could impact about 54,000 PG&E customers in parts of 24 counties. That includes the local counties on this map. The shutoffs are slated to start after 6 o'clock tonight with restoration by late Friday night.